Dietary restrictions, they're not going, going to get in the way, rather, this year's holiday dessert selection. Today, we're talking about how to make those tasty treats vegan-friendly. Nina Kurtz, the director and executive chef of Plantation Company Culinary uh, Arts, yeah. joining us now with uh, some of her very own holiday picks. All right, you have a great spread here. What did yes. you bring for us this morning? I've got so many good things for you. This is a spiced sweet potato cake. People want to say pie, but it's a cake. That is so different, okay. With a cashew crema. And then here we have a no-bake black bottom pecan pie. So okay. in my family, we always no had bake. sweet potato pie mm -hmm. and pecan pie. Definitely so a different tradition. twist, yeah. yes. And then we have here our ginger crisp because ginger and nutmeg and cloves and cinnamon. Yeah, all those you know? familiar yes. holiday flavors. And we can't go without a beverage. This is wash our it down. cashew nut nog. A little twist. Okay. You can spike it later. I'm not going to get in trouble. <laughs> no judging, right? <laughs> uh, so when it comes down to, to making these types of uh, delicious desserts, it has to be kind of tricky, or a lot of folks are going to find it tricky, but what are some simple reminders that you can give folks to make uh, these vegan dishes? Sure. Well, desserts are already vegetarian by default. Yeah. So today we have a lot of easy to use egg replacers like flax egg, chia egg, uh, aquafaba, there are things on the market. If you want to go gluten, there's some really great quality gluten-free flours today. So you, you really can pass the test of, oh, that's really good. This isn't gluten-free, but this is, and these are. So I use sorghum flour here okay. with arrowroot. So there are so many advances we've made since I started vegan over 20 years ago. It's really exciting. But even then, because this is what I do, we just put a lot of interest in it. I mean, applesauce is also an egg replacer, but it also keeps something like this spiced sweet potato cake moist. Yeah, a sweet potato cake. Where did you get inspiration for something like this? You know, you're tinkering in the kitchen at two in the morning, and you're like, why can't I mash up? We have all these mashups. Mm -hmm. So why can't I have a mashup of a cake, a pie, and kind of a pudding? My ideas at 2 a.m. don't <laughs> usually involve in something as tasty as this. Uh, I got to imagine, are you staying busy this holiday yes. season? Yes, 300, I, I'm not 10,000 tamales, <laughs> but 300 cupcakes last week. Orders are coming in. People are realizing we have our advent calendar. You know, it's the 22nd and people are realizing it's getting real, folks. And what <laughs> yes, are you going to bring for dessert? So these are some really easy things. This is a process because I'm not baking it, sure. but it's not hard. So once you realize you, these are great, easy to make on a sill pat, peel them off, kids love them, adults love them, a little bit of nog, mm -hmm. everybody's happy. Where can folks find some of these great recipes? They will be on your site. Your yes, site, will. the nog and the, I recommend everybody try this spice sweet potato cake. All right, all right, thank you again, Nina Curtis. Thank you so much for thank joining you. us today and bringing all these tasty treats. All right, Brandy, we're gonna toss it back over to you. I'm gonna stuff myself a little bit. <laughs>